Hot, 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 hot. Please subscribe. Do remember if you wish to open a trading account, check out my Weibo link below. You'll get four, four free stocks whenever you sign up. Minimum deposit required, $100. Also, pre-market hours trading starts at 4 a.m. sharp. 4 a.m. sharp with Weeble, Weeble only. The way to go. Yeah, good morning, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Thursday, September the 23rd. In today's video, I have one play for you and one to put on stock. Before I go into the plays, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the markets. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, they closed up 1% flat at 34,258. That rally didn't fizzle, but it sizzled the Dow. Pay attention. The NASDAQ, they closed up 1.02% at 14,896 yesterday. Apple, Apple closed up. 1.69% at $145.85 pennies. Apple. The big winner yesterday, Dave's Play, Emrin, M R I N. They closed up 62% at $9.21. The low on the day was $8.48. The high on the day, $10.88 on a volume of 100 $146 million. Okay, compared to the average volume of $27 million. Emrin. Also, AEMD, they closed up 33%, respectable, at 506. The low on the day, 468. The high on the day, 599. The volume was 96 million. Compare and contrast to their average volume of a measly 900K. AEMD. Let's jump right into Dave's, Dave's play today. Dave's play today is AMHC. This is a midterm hold. A MHC. They're up 74% at $17.86. Heavy resistance at 20 bucks. The higher day thus far in the pre, $20.22. If this one retracts below 14 bucks, this might be a no-go today. Company came out with news. Go ahead and read the news on your own time. Let's kick the tires. They wear a market cap of 125 million. They have 9 million in the float, no insiders. They have 95% of the float held by institution and shorts has 4% of the float. They have 310K in total cash, zero debt. Their current ratio is 1.29 AMHC. Dave Splay. Please put on stock today, MRM. The company came out with news in the AH. On that, the stock is up 39% in the pre at 1029. The higher day thus far for MRM is 1245. 1245. Pay attention <laughs> if this one spike over 1245 today. MRM. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter at the petite for my stock alerts. Okay. In the meantime, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Never invest more than you're willing to lose, okay? And I'll see you when I see you. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam. Thanks for all the likes yesterday. Appreciate you. for you. These are spec plays in and out, grab and go. Do not overstay your welcome.
speaking of welcome, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers to the channel. I woke up, I saw 50 new subscribers. I garnered about 50 new subscribers overnight. I really appreciate you guys. Around here, we find Supernova moves early. Also, follow me on Twitter at the Petite for stock alerts. Welcome to the family. Welcome to another episode of Dave's Play. Before I go into the play, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the market. The Dow Jones closed down 0.67% at 30,016. Okay. The NASDAQ, bucking the trend, they closed up 0.51% at 12,808. The NASDAQ. Yesterday's big winner, OCGN, I tweeted this one at about 50 cents in the morning. OCGN closed up a whopping. 174% at 80 cents. This is why I have this channel. Supernova moves like these. Please give me a thumbs up on the video. Please subscribe to the channel if this kind of content is for you. Let's delve in. OCGN opened at 47 cents. The stock spiked as high as 83 cents and as low as 40 cents. The low of the day, 40 cents. The volume on the day, a whopping, an eye popping, 734 million. Let that sink in. Compare and contrast that to their average volume of 19 million. Dave's play today is a MT play, medium, to, medium term hold. Emerin, Emerin, Emerin is up 71% in the pre at 9.23. The higher day thus far, $10.90. If this one retracts below $9.15 pennies, this one might be a no-go, 9.15, okay? This one is spikeable. For example, between July 6th, I'm sorry, between June 23rd and July 6th, a couple of weeks, the stock went from $1.67 to $27.26, $1.67 to $27, all in a couple of weeks. Emery, pay attention, this one could move for days. Let's see what happens. The company came out with the news. They'll be doing some kind of re sh revenue sharing with Google. Go ahead and read the news on your own time, your own term. Let's kick the tires. Emerin wears a market cap of 72 million. They have 15 million in the float. Okay. 3% of the float are held by insiders. 13% of the float are held by institution insurers as 10% of the float. Their 200 day moving average is 4.58. This is Emory, okay? They have 26 million in revenues. They have 14 million in total cash and 8 million in total debt, bringing them to a current ratio of 1.71 and 919. For the first hour trading, the Dow rallied over a 1% gain, only to fizzle back down into the red, the Dow. Pay attention to the overall markets. So this was a failed rally yesterday, the Dow. The NASDAQ, however, they beg to differ. The NASDAQ, they closed up 0.22% at 14,746. Apple closed up 0.43% yesterday at 143 dollars and 43 pennies, Apple. The big winner yesterday, Dave's play, RWLK. The stock closed up 99% at $2.59, okay? The stock opened up at $1.50. 
spiked and never looked back. The high on the day, 262 RWLK. Okay. The volume yesterday, a whopping 321 million shares exchange hands compared to their average volume of just 400K RWLK. Please sit tight for Dave's play. Thank you for watching. Dave Natch, I'm out.